pay paradise, put up a parking lot. What's up, everybody? Jasper Gonzo here. Another What's Next. Happy Monday. Well, now we know who's in a Super Bowl. Rams versus uh, the, uh, wow, Cincinnati Bengals. Holy cow, I almost forgot. I actually watched both games last night. Um, exciting games on both ends. But we're not here to talk about who's going to the Super Bowl. Uh, once again, we're going to talk about Spotify, Joe Rogan, Neil Young, and a new player in the game who's decided to get Neil Young's back, and that is one Joni Mitchell. Let's take a look. This comes out of Fox Business News. Joni Mitchell joins Neil Young, ditches Spotify, irresponsible people are spreading lies. Yes, misinformation. Her big songs, uh, Big Yellow Taxi and A Case of You, have both been streamed on the channel for more than 100 million times. Joni Mitchell is joining Neil Young in his protest against Spotify, declaring on Friday she is seeking to remove all her music from the streaming service. Young this week rallied against Spotify for airing Joe Rogan's podcast. He claimed Rogan is spreading misinformation about the coof. Mitchell, who's like Young, California-based, who has much of success in this, who has who had much of her success, excuse me, in the 1970s, is the first prominent musician to join Young's effort. Irresponsible people are spreading lies that are costing people their lives, Mitchell said. Friday in a message posted on her website. I stand in solidarity. Yes, I stand for the cause. I got your back, Neil. I got your back. And the global scientific medical communities on this issue. Joni Mitchell, you can see there. Following Young's actions this week, Spotify said it had policies in place to remove misleading content from its platform and has removed more than 20,000 podcast episodes related to the coof since the start of the pandemic. But the service has said nothing about Rogan whose podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, is the centerpiece of the controversy. Yes, that is its franchise right now when it comes to podcasting. Joe Rogan is their Michael Jordan right now, is their Tom Brady right now. Last month, Rogan interviewed on his podcast Dr. Robert Malone, an infectious disease specialist who had been banned from Twitter for, quote, spreading COVID misinformation. Yes, because being of the scientific community, Robert Malone doesn't know what the f he's talking about. Yeah, Twitter said, get to stepping. Rogan is one of streaming's uh, is one of the streaming services biggest stars with a contract that could earn him more than one hundred million dollars. As you can see there, Neil Young, yeah, he looks like that all the time. Young had called on other artists to support him following his action. While Mitchell seventy eight is not a current hit maker, the Canadian native Spotify page has more than three point seven million monthly listeners to her music. Her songs "Big Yellow Taxi" and "A Case of You" have both been streamed. As, well, as I said earlier, for more than 100 million times. In a message on his Friday, on his website Friday, Young said that when I left Spotify, I felt better. Of course you did, Neil. Of course you did. As long as you can get that virtue signal out, well, it's how you left these roles. Private companies have the right to choose what they profit from, just as I can choose not to have my music support a platform that disseminates harmful information. He wrote, I'm happy and proud to stand in solidarity with the frontline healthcare workers who risk their lives every day to help others. Really, Neil? Really? You mean those same uh, healthcare workers, those same nurses, those same doctors, those same first responders, firefighters, cops, who all got fired last year because they felt that the vax wasn't for them based on religious reasons or based on true scientific data, you know, that lo lovely efficacy rate regarding the vax. There was no immediate response to a request from uh, Spotify regarding this. Brand expert Eric Schiffer told Fox News in an earlier interview, excuse me, interview earlier this week, the removal of Young's music will hurt him much more than Spotify. Yeah, Spotify could care less. They could, they could care less. You're not going to see a significant carnage fall Spotify from this choice, Schiffer said. Quote, in many ways, I think that the negative impact is largely due to Young being uh, uh, on Young disseminate a significant part of his royalty strain. It also alienates from many on the right who look at this as just another out of touch lib trying to shut down free speech in America. Bingo, bingo. Now we go from that to this. Excuse me. Joe Rogan breaks his silence after Neil Young controversy. Rogan's video post last week uh, uh, lasted about 10 minutes and he spoke about the challenges of preparing for his shows that are unscripted and free flowing. 
Rogan, the popular podcast host on Spotify, broke his silence on Sunday after rocker Neil Young accused him of peddling misinformation about the coof that led to a public rebuke and eventually removal of his songs from the streaming service. Rogan, the video lasted about 10 minutes. He spoke about the challenges preparing for a show that are unscripted and free-flowing. He defended his interviews with Dr. Peter McCullough, a cardiologist, and Dr. Robert Malone, an infectious disease specialist that resulted in some criticism and apparently led to Young's decision to call on his songs to be removed from the platform. Get off my lawn! Young keeps on insisting. Rogan offers some background regarding his guests and argued that their opinions are worth hearing. McCullough has been widely published and Malone is considered one of the leading experts on mRNA technology, which is used in Pfizer and Moderna. He challenged his word. He challenged the word misinformation, given that so much is being still learned about the coof. He said Spotify will begin to put a disclaimer. That's right, you gotta put a disclaimer. Hey, this is just Rogan. It has nothing to do with Spotify. Listen at your own risk. Pretty much to those words. He will also consider following up, following them up with an expert with a different opinion. I'm going to do my best in the future to balance things out. I'm going to do my best, he said. But my point is always this, just to create interesting conversations and ones that I hope people will enjoy. Joni Mitchell also said that she's seeking to remove all her music. Uh, Rogan said, I'm very sorry that you feel that way. I don't want that. Rogan said, pointing out that he is a Neil Young fan. Rogan recalled the time when he was younger and he was scheduled to work at security at a Neil Young concert in Mansfield, Massachusetts. He ended up leaving because there were too many fights breaking out. It didn't make sense for him to get a beating for the pay. When he drove off, he remembered blasting Young's Keep on Rocking in the Free World and never looked back. My thoughts. Well, you gotta give uh, Joni Mitchell a little props, a little bit. You know, basically she's saying, hey, you know what? I stand by my man, Neil Young, because of Spotify's, quote, misinformation spreading regarding Joe Rogan's podcast. And Rogan, um, there are going to be some who are look at this comments, uh, look at these comments, excuse me, that he made in regards to, well, I'm going to do better. I'm going to try to balance things, uh, balance uh, the interviews uh, uh, more out. Um some may take it as Rogan taking a step back and saying, well, I'm not going to put all these people up front and have nothing and then have uh, not somebody come in and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to challenge you on that. That's what you want. You want challenging debates, but that's the reason why Rogan is there. Rogan brings in these people like Jordan Peterson, uh, like Steven Crowder, like uh, Dr. Robert Malone, um, like these people, brings them in, challenges them on their arguments. So basically he's playing devil's advocate in regards to these conversations. So now if he brings somebody else in to say, Hey, I've got Dr. Robert Malone here. <clears throat> Let me bring in Dr. Fauci. <clears throat> never going to happen. Fauci will never step into, uh, Rogan's ring. He will never, ever do it. But if you bring somebody else in who says, well, I challenge you, Dr. Malone, on this. Here's why ABC. Now, a lot of people look at that as a better debate format. Um, but if I were Rogan, I would have just said, yeah, I'm going to continue to do what I do. And uh, as he said, he said, you know, for him, it's about uh, information and it's about entertainment. Um, but, um, we're going to see when the next time he brings on someone of the scientific community, the real scientific community, and then brings in somebody to counter that, we're going to see how that, uh, goes with the, uh, you know, with his viewers, with his followers, with his, uh, you know, with his listeners, we're going to see how that happens, but, um, it's going to be interesting. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. Want we'll to see more jobs like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>